I'm gonna attempt my very first poly gel, y'all. Not just poly gel application, but a full ass extended nail bed with encapsulated glitter. Y'all pray for your girl. So I'm just diving right on into this video. Now what you're seeing me do right now, applying this tip, that's not the meat and potatoes of the video that you're watching. I'm just kind of including a little bit of footage from my previous video. Please go back and watch that because I'm testing a peel off base coat hack. But I did wanna just, I don't know, include a little bit of this footage or a little bit of the footage from the previous vid video just as like my intro. But I have never, literally, I've never applied a tip to my nail. Like, I've done full cover tips, but I've never, like, glued on or applied a tip tip to my nail. So that's brand new. I've never fully done a full-ass poly gel nail, and I've never done extended nail beds. The only thing you're going to see me do in this video that I've previously done before is encapsulate glitter. I feel like that's really not... Um, but again, that's not like why, why we're here. We're here to laugh at Tara trying to apply poly gel. So I do wanna use this beautiful glitter mix and I need to apologize to McCart for using the Model 1's base and top coat. I don't know, I must have blacked out. When I pulled this full ass McCart poly gel kit out the box, I must have blacked out. I completely looked over the base and top coat that are literally in the kit. Because, hello, girl, base and top coat right here. I don't know. I just didn't see it. I was so stressed out. Okay, I'm going to use this Le Corgel. I don't know. Uh, French for coral, I think. Poly gel. But I was so nervous. And even as I was editing both of these videos. Oh, I am going to cap this. Because I don't want any air getting into that. Because I, I fear that it's going to fart on me the next time I go in and try to use it. So, so don't just leave your poly gel tubes open because air will get trapped in there. And then when you go to squeeze it, it'll go and it could be a mess. I don't know. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I, I was so nervous to do this. And even as I was editing both of these videos, I, well, my previous video and this video, I did all of this in one night. Obviously it's the same freaking nail. But as I was editing both of these videos, like I could see myself shaking. Like anxiety brain is a real it's a real thing. So let me just start off by telling y'all this one fucking nail took me three and a half hours to do. I did only film, I think around 50, 55 minutes of footage because a lot of this stuff I had to do off camera. Like I needed to bring my, my hand up to my eye holes so I could see what the hell I was doing. But I didn't want to be like, you know, either cutting out important footage or I didn't want to be speeding up important footage. So some of this stuff I do leave at regular speed like this. Like you can see I'm soup, super slow. Like I'm just, oh my God, I'm so slow. But I, I say that to say this. If you are brand new to poly gel, as I am, like I am really brand new, uh, I feel I feel as though it's important for for you to a not be scared like I was and if and if you if you are using it and or if you've tried it once and it, it was a freaking mess yeah it's a mess but it's normal so just trust the process this is definitely a trust the process kind of a technique especially the first time you do it now one thing now this is sped up footage right here one of the my biggest struggles. Uh, of just the poly gel application was trying to figure out sort of like the balance between how much alcohol I use or how much slip I'm using alcohol but how much slip solution because that should be getting runny and uh, y'all I had juices all up in my cracks honey and and my sidewalls and it was kind of a mess but yeah they're they're sort of like the learning curve of how wet do I need my brush? When do I need my brush a little bit more dry? You know what I'm saying? So if it's messy at first, trust the process. Just keep going. Keep going. So I, I do have a lot of sort of like wiping of the sidewalls because I'm like, ooh, this is, this is juicy, honey. This is juicy. But this is where we are. This is where we are. I'm not super upset about this. Again, I do have anxiety brain and I am a bit of a perfectionist. But again, if I have lumps and bumps, which of course I do, 
I knew in the back of my mind, hey, I'm going to be filing some of this shit off anyway. I can, you know, I can even it out. I can smooth it out. I can level it out, whatever. So I'm just sort of trying to, and honestly, I think I should have extended my nail bed a little bit, but it ain't looking too bad. It ain't too bad. All right. I'm going into the lamp. Or I will literally be here until the sun comes up. And that's my anxiety talking because I'm I'm a perfectionist and perfection doesn't exist. So, Tara, what the hell are you striving for? I'm not sure. But for my very first polygel application, I think that looks pretty good. So here's what it looks like when it comes out of the lamp. Of course, I'm going to wipe off my tacky layer. and I'm going to go into my filing. You guys, <laughs> I used four different files for this. I'm going to start off with my metal my little metal backed file to sort of kind of, again, perfect, air quote, perfect my smile line. Uh, I had planned originally to, you know, when I started my artwork to, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the technique is, but to basically take like a colored gel and, I don't know, outline or sort of like line that wall where my smile line is. I don't know what that what that uh, technique's called, but you know what I'm talking about. So I, I wanted to get my smile line sort of, you know, where it needed to be. I'm done with that file. Now I'm going in with my red iguana file. I'm not speeding up this footage right here, even though I probably should have. But this is a, what is this? 180, I'm sorry, I'm trying to look. I think it's 180, 240. I didn't want to just go in with the file that was super coarse and then basically fuck up and file off all my super hard work. So I started off with something with with something not quite coarse, but then I realized that ain't coarse enough. So now I'm going in with my McCart, with my McCart hand file, and I'm using this is a 180 this is a 100 180 grit, but I'm using the 100 grit file on the surface of this poly gel because I do have as you can see, I do have like a low spot. I'm just sort of trying to I don't know, even this stuff up. Honestly, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I do know what looks good and what don't, okay? Does that help anybody? Oh, probably not, but I'm, I'm, I need to get off all this dust so I can see what the hell is happening under here. So that is my McCart file. It's not, it's not bad, it's not terrible, but it, uh, I need another file. So here we are, I've wiped it off, and I'm pretty sure I used Young Nail Swipe, and I'm just sort of, I've washed, washed, rinsed, not really sure. I'm just assessing. I'm just assessing right here. And like I said, it's not awful. I, I do sort of wish I had brought that or taken that nail bed down a little bit more. So now I'm just going to go in with some more base coat, which is not McCart's. <laughs> It's Model 1s because I'm just going to be doing the glitter stuff. Like, I just need a wet base coat to plop some glitter onto this uh, onto this tip. And I'm going in with, what is this? Oh, a McCart brush, McCart number 1. This is just something, I just need something, to something pokey, right? Like, I just want to get my the tip of my brush wet with the base coat and then dip it into the into the glitters and then get those applied. This is not an exact science. I don't really, I ain't really worried about all this. I did sort of speed this up. So I basically just, at first I was like, oh, I'm just gonna sort of sprinkle these glitters about, sprinkle them around. And then I was like, no, I think I want like a full cover ass, you know, cover up all this stuff, which I, I sort of had to do anyway because the alcohol that I used or the swipe that I used to clean off this tip sort of clouded the tip and literally it was white so I'm like well there's no there ain't no clear spots on this tip no more so let's just go ahead and cover the whole damn thing which I did and this is what I'm left with and no I have not cured yet so I'm just sort of looking checking seeing if I have any naked spots because I'll plop some more little glitters back in there so now I'm all cured and I'm just gonna you know brush it off Make sure, make sure I don't have any loose, any loose glitters in here. 
And now I'm going to use this emerald green builder gel from Madame Glam. I'm pretty sure uh, G Money, Guyline325, gifted this to me. This is the first time I've ever used this. Now let me tell y'all something. I am not brand new to builder gel. But if you were to watch this tutorial, <laughs> you would think I have never even heard the term builder gel before. Ugh. Okay, so encapsulating the glitter on the tip not brain surgery, okay? I, I, I did a pretty good job there, but y'all y'all will see. I'll tell y'all. I'll, I'll point out my mistakes to you guys uh, when we get there. So basically, I'm just going to blob it on, you know, move it around, smooth it around, whatever. I'm just encapsulating these glitters. And remember I told y'all, like originally my plan was to, um, and again, I don't know the term, map out uh, to draw, to color, whatever, my smile line, and I forgot to do that. I'm really glad that it, I brought this emerald green builder gel up over that smile line onto the poly gel because you'll see at the very end, it literally does look like I used like a, an emerald green jelly polish to outline my smile line. So I was, I was happy. I was happy about that. So yeah, you don't have to be perfect and precise with your builder gel application when you are encapsulating the glitters. So I do have quite a bit of stuff on my nail. This is where I made mistakes, honey. What are you doing? Okay, why, why did you think that would be a good idea? Actually, I didn't know. I just thought, you know what, let me just bring this emerald green all the way up over the poly gel and I'll see what it looks like. And then I was like, no, I hate this. So I do sort of correct this as we move along in this video. However, I just, and uh, y'all, I know poly, I, I know builder gel is super thick. Why did I just freaking add more? Why did I add more to this apex? It didn't need it. It didn't need it. It already has an apex. Bitch, what are you doing? What you doing out here? I don't know. So I say all of that to say this, if you add way too much builder gel, as I have freaking done, it ran everywhere. When I tell y'all this nail took me three and a half hours, at least one hour of that was cleaning up the builder gel that had ran all into my damn sidewalls. It was an absolute nightmare. So thankfully I saved y'all from that pain of watching me try to clean all that shit up. But I went ahead and cured and now I'm filing, I'm shaping, and as you can see, I'm like, I hate, I freaking hate this emerald green builder gel on top of the poly gel, so I'm going to file that shit off, and I'm going to smooth up my little picky pokey, pokey outy glitters with my hand file, I'm sorry, with my e-file, and now I just need to file and like smooth everything out, and again, I told y'all some of these some of these uh, poly gel users just be like, oh, I did all that shit off camera. You know, I filed and buffed off camera. It, me, the brand new beginner, I'm like, but I don't want you to do that off camera. Like, I want to see it. So I left that in here. If you're watching this, if you're watching, if you're watching this video and you are brand, brand new to poly gel as I am, I, I left this in here for y'all. And I know, you know, experienced poly gel users will be like, Girl, you fucked up in so many spots. Yeah, yeah, I probably did. But <laughs> here it is. Here it is for the entire world. All right, guys. Here we are. <laughs> I've been a bad girl. I've been a bad girl. That looks okay. You want to know what doesn't look okay? This. This right here. I was filing away, and I literally just pretty much filed that corner off by my cuticles. Now, keep in mind, this is built as a temporary nail. Thank goodness, because otherwise that would be giving me problems within like a couple of days, probably. I haven't top coated it, but oh, even down here, just a little, see? Terrible. Terrible filing. Terrible filing job. Way to go, Tara. But that's alright. Again, we are testing a peel-off base coat hack. <sighs> Otherwise, I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I was, well, I'll have to clean that up, but 
um, you know, I was looking at it from all angles. Y'all can't, y'all can't see what I'm seeing, but yeah, looking good, looking good. Uh, are y'all ready for our top coat reveal? Let's get it. Oh, so satisfying. I love this part. Oh, I'm not very good at the whole top coat reveal, but it does look beautiful and the top coat saved it kind of, I don't know. I, I still applied top coat over my little naked bare area down there in the left hand bottom corner, but you know, whatever. For my first try, I thought I did pretty damn well. I loved it. It was beautiful. Now I know what not to do in the future. If you have any tips and tricks, drop them in the comments. All right. While my top coat is curing, I just want to give a massive shout out to Aggie over at Unpolished by Aggie. I will put her right up here. When I tell y'all that I have watched hundreds of hours of her content, that ain't no kind of joke, y'all. That ain't no kind of joke. I have watched and sometimes rewatched and rewatched some of her videos because she's phenomenal at poly gel application. She's phenomenal at extended nail beds. Uh, I just absolutely adore her content. So Aggie, if you're watching, I know you're probably not, but if you are, thank you so much for, uh, I don't know, your education, I guess. So this was my first poly gel application attempt. Hang on, let me get some oil up on this biatch because she is a dry baby. Yeah, so huge thank you to Aggie again for just cranking out some of the best content here on the old tube of views when it comes to sort of DIY nails. Oh, and by the way, like her artistry and her creativity is bomb too. So thank you, Miss Aggie, for that. Um, yeah, my first poly gel. So aside from just, you know, things were going well. Well, I mean, they were, and then they weren't, and then they were again, and then they weren't when I did this. I should have extended my nail bed, but y'all saw me struggling to even just get this shit on here. So kudos to me. Good job, Tara. It could have been so much worse. It could have been so much worse. The moment when you wash your hands for the first time with the brand new nail shape. Yeah, it didn't go well. What? All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this not very quick little toot, but here is my very first poly gel nail with encapsulated glitters. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you are brand new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads from your girl. The keyword is glitter. The keyword is glitter. Drop the keyword in the comments below so that I know you stuck around this long. That's it for me. I will see y'all in my next one. Love y'all. Bye.